We are on the verge of an automotive revolution. Seriously, imagine an electric car that can drive over a thousand miles on a single charge. Imagine refueling it in the time it takes to grab a cup of coffee quickly. A full top up in just 10 minutes. This isn't science fiction, it's the very real promise of a technology that could redefine our world as a solid state battery. It's the holy grail of the EV industry. But there's a huge problem. A tiny little microscopic crystal, silent assassin, called a dendrite, threatens to bring this entire revolution crashing down before it even begins. Right now, engineers across the globe are locked in a desperate race, about to be the first trying to beat the laws of physics to stop it. Well, to understand where we're going, we need to have a look back at where we are now. Today's electric vehicles run on mainly lithium-ion batteries. And while they're great, they have their limits. Early EVs struggle to get past 200 miles range. The average today is close to 300, and many premium models push well past 400, up towards 500. Still, when you do have to stop, you're waiting. The fastest 800 volt superchargers can get you a hefty boost in 18 to 20 minutes, but it's not quite the fill it up speed we're used to as a petrol car. The problem is the battery's basic design. A conventional lithium ion battery has a liquid electrolyte that the lithium ions swim through to generate power. This liquid is the weak link. It's heavy, bulky, and it adds a fire risk if the battery is damaged. It's a design that served us well, but it's now starting to hold us back. In terms of energy density, lithium ion batteries are believed to be capped at about 350. That's all they'll ever get. While the best currently on offer, well, CATL Shenzhen uh, LFP tops off about 205 watt hours per kilogram. Tesla's 4680 is reaching 272. We're nearing the true limit of lithium ion. The only way to get much longer range is to put in a much bigger battery. To truly break out from here, we need something better. We need a new formula. Well, this is where the solid state battery enters the picture and it changes the entire game. As the name suggests, it swaps that flammable liquid, the electrolyte, for a solid material, often a thin layer of ceramic or polymer. And this one change unlocks a cascade of incredible benefit. First up, energy density. Because the solid electrolyte is more compact and stable, you can pack in more energy producing materials. This means the solid state battery can be lighter and smaller than a lithium ion one of the same capacity, or it can hold vastly more energy in the same space. And we aren't talking about a small, small bump either. CATL believes solid state offers up to 500 watt hours per kilogram. It's about double the very best lithium ion we have today. This is how we get to those game-changing range numbers. It's not just about five or 600 mile. It's about the long-term targets from players like CATL, who see a future with a potential 1,000 to 1,500 mile range. Yeah, what's well, the difference between planning your trip around chargers and, well, just driving? Well, second, we get safety. Removing the flammable liquid dramatically improves the safety profile and reduces the risk of fires that have occasionally plagued the EV industry. While it doesn't completely eliminate the possibility of a thermal runaway, especially with high energy lithium metal anodes, anodes the stable solid barrier is a massive step forward. Well, third is weight. With no liquid sloshing around, solid state batteries are much lighter. And in the EV world, just like in Formula One, weight is everything. A smaller battery that offers more power and is lighter. And finally, speed. The solid electrolyte allows for much more efficient transfer of ions. This means you can push electricity in way faster without damaging the battery, and a charge time of just 10 minutes is possible. Think about that. While a petrol car can fill up in five minutes for a typical range of about four to 600 miles, a future EV might be able to charge in 10 minutes for a range of well over a thousand miles. Would you see now why this might be the holy grail? It would eliminate one of the final major hurdles that are preventing many people joining the mass EV adoption. 
It's a future with no range anxiety, no long waits, and smaller, lighter, safer cars. Virtually every journey will be completed easily within the range of the batteries. Go from London to Cornwall, go back again, and you've still got plenty of range left to go as far north as Glasgow without ever having to charge. Or the infamous John O'Groats to Land's End, non-stop. Yeah, the promised land is right there. It's within our grasp. But every quest for Holy Grail has its dragon. For solid-state batteries, that dragon is the dendrite. For years, scientists have thought a solid electrolyte would be an impenetrable wall. Yeah, they were wrong. Under the immense pressure and intense energy of fast charging, something unexpected happens. Tiny needle-like filaments of lithium metal begin to grow from the anode. These are the dendrites. Just imagine them as microscopic tree roots, just relentlessly forcing their way through the solid electrolyte. And research has even shown that the dendrites aren't just an electrochemical problem, they're a mechanical one. Because the pressure needed to make the battery work can actually create or worsen tiny cracks in the solid electrolyte, giving these metallic invaders a path to go to. Well, as they creep from one side of the battery to the other, they eventually connect the anode and the cathode directly. And the result is catastrophic. It's an internal short circuit. So the best case scenario, battery just fails instantly. And in the worst case, it can lead to a thermal event. This single microscopic phenomenon is a central obstacle standing between us and this automotive revolution. It's the villain of our story. And the desperate race against physics is on to defeat it. Well, this challenge has ignited a fierce global competition. In labs from Tokyo, Shanghai to California, the world's brightest minds are battling this microscopic monster. And we're actually starting to see some real breakthroughs. Well, some teams are focused on the engineering, the interfaces. Researchers at institutions like the University of Maryland, they're designing ultra-thin protective layers. One strategy uses a fluorine-rich layer that chemically stabilises the surface, while another modifies the anode with elements like magnesium to stop the dendrites before they can even start. Another fascinating strategy comes from researchers at Harvard. This is going on everywhere. They've developed a design using micron-sized silicon particles in the anode. During charging, the lithium metal flows smoothly around these particles. This prevents the sharp points where dendrites love to grow. Their postage stamp-sized prototype has shown it can be recharged in about 10 minutes and endure thousands of cycles. That's a hugely promising result at the lab scale. Well, this race is moving incredibly fast, with new breakthroughs being announced constantly. If you want to stay on top of the technologies that are shaping our future, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. You won't want to miss what comes next. So who's winning this race? And when can you actually get your hands on this technology? The answer, I'm afraid, is complex, but the timelines are actually starting to get clearer. Now, Toyota has been a giant in this space for over a decade. Well, be fair, at least their press releases have. They've been making batteries from the very early days, way back 1997 for the Toyota Prius. And they've been predicting the launch of their own solid state battery since 2009, pretty much every year. And repeatedly, confidently predicted their inclusion in all EVs by 2020. Yeah, that never happened. But still, we get the press releases seven, several times a year. But now they've parted with Idemitsu Kusan, and they're targeting the commercialization of their first solid state batteries between 2027 and 2028. So their initial goal for this generation are just a 20% range boost over their advanced lithium ion batteries, but with that coveted 10 minute fast charge, bit by bit. Now in the United States, we've got QuantumScape. It's backed up by Volkswagen. It's a major contender. They've already developed a unique ceramic separator they claim is highly resistant to dendrites. 
Their test battery, the QSE 5B, already claims 301 watt hours per kilogram and a 15 minute charging time. This year, they announced progress on a new manufacturing process called Cobra, designed to speed up production of this critical component. And they're now shipping early prototypes to automotive partners for testing. And they're hoping to have their tech in test vehicles later this year and throughout 2026. It's all getting closer. Nissan's also making big moves, showcasing a pilot production line at their Yokohama plant, they're aiming to launch EVs with their own solid-state batteries by the 2028 fiscal year, believing the tech could eventually double energy density. They even see potential for these batteries in a wide range of vehicles, like pickup trucks. Now, the major players like BMW and Mercedes-Benz, they're also deep in the testing phase, with Mercedes already road testing cells from factorial in a prototype EQS. However, the hype needs a dose of realism. The challenges are immense. As of mid-2025, experts warn that significant hurdles remain in scaling up production and bringing down costs. Solid-state batteries are today still far more expensive to produce than the liquid-based counterparts. There are still questions about the long-term durability and performance in extreme temperatures under real-world driving conditions. The road to mass production, yeah, it's not here, but it's still a long one. The invention of the solid state battery isn't just an incremental improvement, it's a paradigm shift. It represents the potential to finally solve the core challenges of the electric vehicle, range, charging time and safety. And the vision's clear, a world where EVs are not just a greener alternative, but a superior one in every way. Well, the path to this future is currently blocked by a formidable microscopic flow. The dendrite is a problem born from the very laws of chemistry and physics. But a global race to conquer it is showcasing human ingenuity at its finest, from clever chemical barriers to innovative structural designs. Scientists and engineers are methodically deconstructing the problem and then rebuilding with a solution. Well, while we may not see the solid state EVs flooding the market tomorrow, the breakthrough is pretty much no longer a question of if, but when. The late 2020s are shaping up to be a critical testing ground for this technology. The quest for the holy grail of batteries is nearing its conclusion, and it promises to change pretty much everything about the way we move. Well, what do you think is the biggest hurdle left for solid state batteries? Is it cost, scaling up manufacturing, or are you optimistic we'll see them in the showrooms by the end of the decade or sooner? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. And as always, thanks very much for watching. I'm Dave.